In our previous video, we created a Revit model of a 10 stories building. In this video, we will export the Revit model to robot structural analysis and perform analysis. Link to download Revit model of 10 stories building is attached in the description below. In Revit, we will go to Analyze Ribbon. And then we will click on Robot Structural Analysis button. Click on Robot Structural Analysis link. Now we will click on Send Model with Direct Integration Type. Press OK to send model. Revit will show event report at the end. Now we will open Robot Software. We can see whole structure is imported in Robot. We can see extruded view by clicking on Section Shapes button. Now we will change some basic settings. Go to Tools tab and then click on Job Preferences. Now click on Units and change it to Imperial System. Now click on Materials. Click on Modifications. Go to Concrete tab. We will be using Concrete 4000 PSI. These are the standard properties of 4000 PSI concrete material. Now we will select whole structure. In properties panel we can see there are different values in material. Now we will select beams from project browser. Right click on beams and select all the beams. Now in Properties panel, change the material to Concrete 4. Now select all the columns. And then change the material to Concrete 4. Now we will select all the slabs. Now click on Thickness tool on the right side. Select a 6 slab and click Apply button. Now select all the slabs again and click on Floor button. Click on three dots to change the material of a 6 floor. Change material to Concrete 4. Now click on Add button and modify the S6 floor. Now we will select all the walls and change the material. We will click Floor button and then change the material as we changed earlier. Click on three dots to change the material of wall. Change it to 4000 PSI. Click Add to modify the wall property. Now let's make selection around all the objects. We can see in Properties panel. That 4000 PSI material is assigned to all the objects. Now we will mesh all the floors and walls. Click this tool to view options of finite element mesh generation. Now click on Meshing Options. Click on Yes to apply meshing to all panels. We will apply automatic mesh with element size of 4 feet. Now click on Generation of Calculation Model to apply Mesh. It will take some time. Now we can see Mesh is applied on floors. To unhide mesh on model, click on Calculation Model button. Click on Section Shapes button to unhide extruded view. Now we will change view to Elevation view. And select all the joints at the base. We can see 68 joints have been selected at the base. Now we will assign support at the base. Click on Supports button and assign fixed support. We can see supports have been assigned at base of columns. 
and walls. Now we will assign loads on the floors. Go to Loads tab and then click on Load Types. Here we will delete the existing load cases except dead. These were the default load cases imported from Revit. Now we will create new load cases. First we will make superimposed dead load case as SDL. Now we will define live load case. Finally, we will define roof live load case. Now we will select all the slabs. Go to Project Browser and right-click on Floors and select All. Now click on Load Definitions on the right. Change the load case to SDL. Go to Surface tab. Now click on Uniform Planar Loads. We will apply 50 PS F load in negative direction. Click on Add to Apply Loads. We can see area load has been applied on floors. Now we will apply live load on the floors. We will select all the floors except roof. Now we will follow the same steps we did in dead load case. We will be applying 40 PS F load on the floors. Click Apply to add loads. Now we will apply Roof Live Load on the Roof Slab. Select Roof Slab. Now apply 30 PS F Load on the Roof Slab. Following the same steps we did earlier. Click Apply to add Roof Live Load. Now we will see how much load we have applied so far. Right click on Screen. Click on Tables. Check on Select option. In this table we can see self weight of structure. Is applied in DL1 case. Also we can see superimposed dead load of 50 PSF and live load of 40 PSF and 30 PSF load of roof live load. Now we will define modal case. Go to Analysis tab and then click on Analysis type. Click on Load to Mass Conversion tab. Click on three dots next to convert cases. Select Dead Load and Superimposed Dead Load Cases. Now add them with the coefficient of 1. Mass source has been defined. Now click on Analysis Type. Click on New button. Now press OK button to add modal case. Change number of modes to 20. Check on Disregarded Density and Stump Check. Click on Advanced Parameters. Change method to Block Lancho's Algorithm. Now press OK. Now, after modal case, we will define seismic case. Click on new and click on seismic. UBC 97 is already selected. Now we will insert our site specific parameters. Now click on eccentricity definition. Click on relative values and make 5% on both direction. Now press OK to make seismic cases. Now we will modify these cases. For X direction, we will keep eccentricity in Y direction. Similarly, for Y direction, we will keep eccentricity in X direction. In Z direction, we will uncheck eccentricity in both direction. Now all the loads have been defined. Now we will perform analysis by clicking on calculations. We will compare the results of both softwares in our next video. I hope you enjoyed our video. Please like, subscribe, and share our channel. Thanks for watching.